What's up guys, welcome back, to, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a full restoration of this E90 M3 interior. So for those of you guys who are new to this channel, I ended up picking up this E90 M3 that honestly needs a lot of work. This one in particular had some engine issues that we ended up getting sorted, which I'm very thankful about. It had an ESS supercharger that we took off for another vehicle, had some Apex wheels, KWs, and a bunch of other little nice goodies. Coming around to the interior, it does have a lot of uh, modifications that I'm not, you know, it's not really my taste and we're gonna go ahead and restore it back to factory mainly because this is a clean title manual gearbox with the alpine white paint and this is something a lot of people want in factory spec we got the single hump dashboard with the manual transmission which is literally the best spec for anyone that wants this car for track use and what we're gonna be doing is honestly restoring this interior as much as we can if you guys look at the roof right now uh the roof has a lot of like sagging sections a bunch of glue over here it's sagging up in that corner over there it has a few tears around the whole thing and an overall in just very bad condition. What you guys also see over here is a manual gear knob with this manual boot, this e with its own custom boot as well. We have an aftermarket touch screen. We have a bunch of these like aftermarket stuff, which we're gonna be, um, taken out <laughs> this steering wheel unfortunately is just in really bad condition and you guys can't even tell that it's an m steering wheel and honestly so much more this interior does need a complete rehaul and that's what we're going to be doing in today's video if you guys are excited to see this transformation where we got really good condition parts to restore this car make sure to smash the like button because if you feel like this car deserves it in a world that's going all electric cars i feel like we should save as many of these v8 manuals as we possibly can and this one deserves the treatment that it's going to get so honestly first things first for me i want to get this headliner out of here so uh yeah we need to actually get the headliner replaced and also the sunroof mainly because our sunroof actually has the sun shade and we have a black one right over here this sunroof for some reason is missing it entirely yeah let's go ahead and get this headliner in there just an FYI, everything I'm actually taking out of this car does not belong to me. Um, I, well, technically belongs to me now since I own the vehicle, but uh, I don't know what's in this car. We're just taking everything out, putting it in this bag, and tossing it out. There's always a good sound when you see some zip ties. <laughs> Well, actually, this bad boy, we are definitely not throwing out. A brand new bottle from BMW 10W60. Heck yeah, guys. I'm definitely keeping this. We want, we want to see this. We want to see this. I don't know why you would cover up this beautiful M logo. Already looking a lot better, guys. Let's go ahead and knock out some more things. So guys, after carefully prying this out, <laughs> this is what we ended up pulling out of the car. So you guys can see how good condition this headliner is. Thankfully for the E91, it has a different headliner. So I don't actually need to use this headliner. I was actually gonna sell it, but thankfully I didn't sell it because if you guys look at this one, look at all these crinkles. Like you can even see that none of this is even sticking down. All of this is just, oh my God, it's just, it was sagging the entire time. Oh, this is sagging. Oh, this is sagging. This one actually has a little bit of a buckle there, but nothing sagging. This headliner is in so much better condition. If you guys look at this over here as well, it looks like at one point someone tried to glue this to the headliner. Uh, this one's in so much better condition. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave that on there. Before actually installing this headliner back into the car, like I said, this sunroof for some reason uh, doesn't actually have the sliding portion. So uh, either we install the sliding portion or we remove the entire sunroof and uh, replace it with that sunroof. I'm going to see what's going to be easiest. I'm going to go ahead and do some research and I'll let you guys know in a bit.
And guys, after about, I'd say about an hour or two, we got everything dialed in on the roof. For some reason, this is like really hard to push back and forth. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it just needs like lubrication or something, but it's so, so, so hard. But honestly, as long as we have this piece, we have the headliner, everything's been replaced. Everything looks in really good condition. Uh, that really helps the transformation and the resale value of this car. Now, the next couple of things I want to knock out, I don't know if you guys can see the steering wheel. It is in horrendous condition. So I want to replace the steering wheel. This trim, again, uh, needs to replace it with at least an M trim. Uh, this, I don't actually know if I have a replacement as of today. I definitely need to replace this. I've been waiting for this. Um, I actually added this button. It was missing this button and this button. I added this button. Uh, so we still need to wait on this button. So probably in an upcoming video, I'll replace this shifter, replace the boot, replace this guy right here. But as of today, I do have a replacement for this. I have a replacement for this and I have a replacement for this. Let's go ahead and just knock those out. I have a feeling it's going to look a lot better with just those things replaced. Guys, we arrived to the end of this video. I mean, we got a lot done to the interior. I know we got the edge of stuff somewhat sorted. It still needs to get, get out and fixed up 100%, but the interior now is looking a lot, lot, lot better. Now it just needs a really good interior detail, a shift knob and a shift boot and that little D EDC button. And other than that, the interior is gonna be absolutely perfect. And the last thing we'll have to focus on on that E90 M3 will be the aesthetic bodywork on the exterior, which I'm in no rush and I can always get that painted whenever. As long as we have that thing is running and driving, we can actually use that car and move it around. And I'm actually gonna be keeping that car a little bit long just so I can reference things off of that car for the E91 as we're building it, making sure we put everything where it needs to be. So it's kind of like perfect timing at the same time. But yeah, hopefully in upcoming videos, the focus is gonna be shifting more towards the E91 M3 again. I do need to get back on that and work on that because again, we have some people coming over, they're flying over to help us work on that car. And if we don't actually get certain things done by the time they get here, we're gonna be so behind and it's gonna be so hectic. So yeah, gonna have to conclude today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's restoration video, make sure to smash the like button. But without further ado, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.